Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 64 of Let's Play Breath of Fire 3, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Now I'm trying to think, which way did I come from? Did I come from over there, or did I go that way? We might as well just go this way, just to see what's up. Apparently, we cannot go any further until we take out the gas. Apparently, that's the one thing we got going for us. Like, looks, I think it was sleeping gas. So once we shut that off, we should be able to continue. We still get some good experience, though, from these enemies, especially the red drakes. Oh, it was just a chest over here. All right, it was just ivory dice. Fair enough. So I'm guessing we have to go this way now. So let's find out how we're gonna get rid of that gas. Oh, here's a new enemy, it's a hopper. It's basically frogs, that's all we're fighting. Just frogs. And they don't seem all that tough, even though they got Air Raid. Ooh, that hurt Momo quite a lot. Hypnotize is confusion, right? If I recall. Either way, thankfully it failed. Every time I pick, Every time Ray attacks, I picture him saying, Who dat? <laughs> that sounds so ghetto. But it works. Here you go, eat some jerky. I like jerky, jerky is awesome. But I think when I was a kid, I was just repulsed by the idea of eating jerky. Then I realized how much of a fool I was. It's so damn good. Also, did I even go this way? Remember, it's been like a day or two since I actually recorded that episode. Ooh, we got a new enemy. Well, a couple new enemies. Newt and Clone. But anyways, it's been a couple days since I recorded this episode, so I'm a little lost. Eh, let's hit him with a Ragnarok. Okay, lightning is not that good. Then again, Ray doesn't have, like, very good intelligence. And I have no intentions to give him my fish heads. Let's see what happens when you get a giant comet drop down your head. Oh, apparently he took that just fine. Well, he did boost his defense up with shield. He likes his fire magic, I must say. Ooh, that was only Samoon, too. Thankfully, he didn't have Sirocco. That probably would have killed Momo. Okay, let's check out this way then. Uh, should we even be here? Oh, this is just for more treasure. That's a skill ink. All right. So, do we have to like go all the way back to like near where we started? Well, at least we have the advantage here. So, <laughs> this ice drake's gonna drop. We gotta think, where exactly do we need to go? Oh, got to level 32 as Momo, fantastic. So I'm guessing we go this way? No, no, I, I might have come from that way. Yeah, I came from that way, so I gotta take the lift again. And get back to that area with the, uh, the electric panel. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Oh, there's no electricity there anymore. So we can pretty much just go through there at our own leisure. Do people call it leisure? But some people, I believe, call it leisure. Is that true? I don't know. I've always known it as leisure. Maybe leisure is just a British thing. I don't know. Oh, well. 
I'm not gonna worry about it that much. All I care about is killing this thing and then figuring out where our next move is. Okay, looks like Bong is close to the next level. Okay, so... Which way do we go? Was there more we can see over there? I don't think I've been in this door. Oh, I bet you that's the panel for the gas. A horrible monster is asleep on the other side of the glass. Well, that's a bit offensive, don't you think? Be ashamed to wake it. Up, eh? Let's leave it alone. Uh, there's a card in there. I wonder if it's not one of the keys we need. Doesn't that beat all? We better go get it or... Or we just don't advance. Well, we've got no choice, right? First we have to figure out how to stop that gas. Figured it out. He was just right there in the same room. Right now it's still asleep. So we should count our blessings. And I'll take that swallow eye. Thank you very much. Huh, you can even hear the this beast breathing when you're in the menu. That, that's so funny. Okay, there's my swallow eye, so I'll give two to Ray. So it looks like we're going to head all the way back to that door, so why don't you give me several minutes? Hang on, before I do... Oh, that's just a dead end. Okay, give me a few minutes. Okay, we made it back here, so now that the gas is out, we can go in this room. Now be very, very quiet. We're lucky we might be able to snag that key. It's asleep. Maybe the gas is still working. Don't wonder about it. Go for it. We should be able to get the card without waking it. Or maybe not. Oh! We hesitated. And now we're gonna pay the price. Alright, so it's time to take on the Chimera. This could be a major pain in the ass. Because this guy hits hard. Alright, so let's start boosting our agility. Uh, I think this would be a good time for me to turn into a dragon. So, let's try a different kind of formation. I'm gonna go with... Force. Where's Force 2? There it is. And then go with Trance. So I'll put those two together. And with that, Momo will definitely have to shield us. I was thinking I'd have my main character use shield, and I remember Momo had it too. This is where we're gonna have to put our money where our mouth is, because this is where enemies get, or bosses get real tough. So with Force and Trance, you can become the Myrmidon. And it's said to be a very powerful dragon to use. So let me take its word for it. You know, we could just snag that key right now. <laughs> I don't see why we don't just do that. Ray, you're pretty much just gonna have to speed up everybody. Anything to give us a head start over that Chimera. Alright, so now you gotta boost Momo. What are my attacks? Uh, let's see. Aura is pretty good. It usually is. So I guess I'll be pounding it with Aura. And then Momo will have to use War Shout. Now, if I remember correctly, the Chimera does have the ability to paralyze us. Which we have not seen at all. And if all three of us get paralyzed, it's over. 
I don't know if you instantly get a game over, or you're just pretty much defenseless. And let's face it, you don't want this guy hitting you too much. The power of music, I tell ya. Now we can pretty much just tear this guy apart. Huh, Ray 316 says I'll just shadow walk your ass. And not that well, by the way. But still better than regular attacks, so I'll keep using it. I think Momo can use a regular attack too. Okay, Momo got paralyzed. Ray, you're gonna have to get rid of that. Get that Panacea ready. What does Rubble Wind do? I think I might just cast magic. Let's take a look at all this. Raise intelligence, defense up versus psionics. Okay, so certain amounts of these can actually use spells. The lacquer staff. I wish it would just tell me what they would do. Rather than just me having to experiment. But I'm guessing Robo Wind might be just Typhoon. Who knows? At this point, it doesn't really matter. Maybe I'll just let Momo use it as a throwaway turn. No, no, don't use regular attack. So yeah, try this. Besides, we might be able to defeat the Chimera soon. Not soon enough. I have no idea what it did. I might have tried to silence it, but failed. Alright, let's see how much damage Inferno does. Uh, that's pretty bad for Momo. Ah, that thing is still not dead. Okay, I only have enough AP for one more, um... Aura. So I better make it happen. Do this! I say that Chimera's almost dead. Yes! That was the finishing blow! And there we go! That's all she wrote! Got to level 41, Ray got to level 35. And now we got ourselves a shiny new, huh, cheap looking card that says key card B. It doesn't look very impressive or important at all. Doesn't this just beat all? All that work for this. Hey, that is going to be our meal ticket further on in the game, okay? So hopefully we can get back to that heal room. I think it would be in our best interest to walk instead of run. Otherwise, we're just going to keep getting encounters. Is it this the way I wanted to go? Yeah, it was. Remember, I got the Holy Mantle on uh, Momo, so... By walking, we minimize our encounter rate. Running just would not help things at all. Now we just gotta find that door where the key card is needed. And I believe we did see it before. So we're not that far. We just gotta keep going this way. Yep, yeah, we gotta fight anyway. Oh well. At least it's just this guy, so it's no big deal. And we did level up. So we got more of an advantage. Perfect. I'm almost not that far from leveling up either. Yeah, I think we can start running now. Was this the room I needed to go to? Uh, I don't know. Let me actually keep going southwest. 
I don't think I've been down here, and now I see why. It was a dead end the whole time. Alright, I guess we're gonna go back this way then. Yeah, this way was definitely dead end. Yep, it was just pretty much a storage room. There. I'm guessing I recovered my AP as well. Yes. I wish all dungeons had like a room like that. And I don't mean like a bed or anything. I mean just straight up. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. There's a chest right here. Let me go back on that uh, conveyor belt. I want to get that before we leave. Like just go in one room that had a green aura and you just recovered everything. And have the books strictly for saving. You know what I mean? That would be pretty cool. 10,000 zenny, yeah. As if money was pretty much vital anymore. Huh. <laughs> it's like they're dancing or something. And then they're stuck. Okay, so I'm guessing this is the room where I need to activate the keys? No, it was those consoles, specifically. If I recall... Let's put an end to this nightmare. I don't mean this Let's Play in general, I mean that enemy named Nightmare. Because this Let's Play has actually been quite fun. I'm really glad the wheel chose it. Though to be fair, Spyro 2 would also have been amazing. Just much shorter. Oh, we gotta find another way to go over there. Alright. Do we even be in here yet? This looks like a storage area. Oh, a life shard. Cool. How many life shards do we have in general? Okay. Um, uh, part of me wants to put him on Momo to keep her alive more. So I'll just spread him around, even though it hardly makes a difference. Did I examine this? No, I didn't. Of course I wouldn't. Alright, so how do I get back to those consoles again? I'm sure it'll come back to me. Oh, this opens now. Did I go in here? Okay, this is just basically setting us back right where we started. Okay, as long as it's basically a shortcut. Cool. Ah, Momo got herself to level 33! Fantastic! And she got vitalized now. That's gonna make her even better. For the role that she's given. Ah, we don't need to heal. Famous last words. <laughs> but I mean them sincerely. Did I come from here? No, I didn't. Alright. Okay, so I'm guessing nearby is where we're gonna need those card keys. Just not here, that's a locker room. Oh, that's right, I took some damage from Momo. Yeah, got, she got hit by that magic ball that nightmares have. Car key is required for access, so I guess I gotta put it here. Oh, now we can actually get in. Hey, what's a bunch of honeys doing here? Which is pretty much the kind of thing I would say during a pub crawl at the bar. They all look like honey. We got a demon's bane. Is that a sword? It is. Devil Slayer. Hmm. That sounds pretty cool. Unfortunately, this is the only thing you can do in this room. So maybe there's another door. Yeah, we wouldn't be doing all this fighting a boss just for a sword. There's definitely something else here. Uh, level A? 
Yeah, we need another key. Can I activate these? That was probably the, for the laser. Lab entrance lock has been released. Main entrance lock has been released. Alright. Did we really only do that for a sword? No, it can't be like that. So we have to think. Where do we get the other key? I'm sure we're not that far behind from it. Probably after this battle, then I'll call it an episode and then take some time to think about where we need to go next. So I feel like we're still very close. Just weird that using that key only got us a sword. And we haven't been able to do much else after that. So let's think this through for the next part, okay? Goodbye everyone, thanks for watching.